So here's my new uh, 3D printer, the RepRap Mendel Max. I ordered this part kit about five weeks ago and finally got it this week. And uh, it's been a long wait. But uh, I built it pretty much on the nights after work and finished it up Saturday. Today's Sunday. So it took about four days to get everything operating the way I wanted it. Um, I just got done printing a, a um, calibration cube, and you can see it's way off in the z-axis. It's supposed to be 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. The inner cube is 20 by 20 by 20, and the two outer, three outer point, points are supposed to be 10 by 10. Um, so I made some adjustments to the firmware, reprogrammed it. And here I am running a, a new calibration structure to see how it works. So, we can talk about some of the fun parts of building the, the kit and some of the not so fun parts. Um, building the frame, uh, let's see, was pretty easy. There were no instructions in the kit, so I had to refer to lots of pictures on the internet. Um, this is also the new version 1.5 which did not have any instructions or photos anywhere on the internet. I had to refer to the three-dimensional drawing on Thingiverse. Uh, it doesn't even have the same parts that are shown in the Thingiverse uh, drawing, so we'll look around here. So there was no way to mount the limit switches in the kit, so I ended up epoxying uh, popsicle stick sections here and put a 632 by, looks like about an inch and a half, two inch screw on the z-axis here so I can finally adjust where the z-axis stops and hits the uh, limit switch. For the x-axis, I glued a limit switch here to the end of one of the X ends with the epoxy again. And then for the Y axis, I made a little popsicle stick mount that uh, you can slide back and forth in the control where the, the axis stops. Now I've seen on uh, Thingiverse there are mounts for printed mounts for these, but since I've already mounted these, and I needed them in the machine before I could print anything. I had them improvise. I mounted the Arduino and ramps 1.4 to the back of the frame, ran all the wiring in Panduit shielding. Let's back up a little bit so you get a better view of this. See, I'm using the Repetier host, which as it's actually printing, it shows where it's printing at. I haven't tried any of the other software packages. Uh, I've been pretty pleased with this one. Now, the big drawback with this was the firmware that came with it didn't work. It kept jamming, um, locking up the board. So I ended up loading Sprinter and using it as the firmware for the Arduino. Um, kind of a surprise, but uh, let's see, the software works pretty good so far. I mounted a thermal couple directly to the bed so I don't have to rely on the software to tell me what the temperature of the bed is. Um, I'm going to look at a therm this th thermometer here. Uh, power supply back here. Solid state relay to control the bed heater. Oh, the LED strip that came with the uh, kit I mounted to the top bar here. I 
Oh, and the belts didn't have a way to mount either. So I ended up uh, modifying some chunks of laser cut material that were in the kit and used them to strap down the belt on the X carriage here. So, and oh, the biggest problem with this machine is I had a hard time getting the bed to level. So, if it moves forward far enough, or if I can get this back, back in here, I ended up shimming between the bed, the aluminum bed, and the laser cut carriage. And right there, you can see the shims to get the bed level. Um, also, the kit was really hard to mount these rods since I've never built one of these before and had no experience with it. Um, I had a hard time with it. Uh, I ended up having to file the insides of these X ends out to get these rods to fit so they were parallel going down. Um, this carriage was binding really badly. So as you see, I only have three of the bushings mounted to the carriage to get another view of that to help out the uh, so it wasn't binding so badly. Um, let's see, what other problems? I don't think I had many other problems than that. Um, oh, here's another one. The nuts that went inside of these uh, X ends, I had to end up gluing them in place because when I was trying to calibrate the machine, I noticed the ends kept moving. Um, the nut would kind of come loose in there, and the whole carriage would move up and down at different uh, rates than what the steppers were moving. So I ended up super gluing the nuts into the, into the X ends. So I think that kind of covers it. And I'm going to finish printing this block. It still has one hour. I'm printing it in 150 micron resolution, so it takes a long time. So thanks for watching.